Can you freeze sheep's milk? Let's talk about what happens when you freeze sheep's milk for preservation or just because you have so much of it all at once. I'm Natalie Lucier from Waykeeper Farm and Nerdery and I love sheep's milk and dairy sheep. If you know anything about dairy sheep, then you know that they're very seasonal, which means that a lot of their milk comes pretty much at the same time of the year. And there's peak production where it's really hard to keep up with all the milk and you might need to be making cheese on a regular basis to just take up all this milk. Now, unlike dairy dairy cows where you could breed them at different times of the year or keep them going year round. Dairy sheep do not usually make milk throughout the whole year. They take a break after they finish weaning their sheep, their little lambs, and then they are getting ready to be pregnant and then have their next batch of lambs. So what do you do if you have all this milk at once? Can you freeze it and will it stay good? So first of all, I did my own test because I think that's the best way to know. And so what I did is I froze a jar of milk and a couple days later I thought it out and then I am going to test and kind of tell you what I think is different between a fresh jar of milk that is just from a day or two ago and then a frozen jar that's been thawed out. So first of all, when I look at the frozen and thawed milk, I can definitely see that it has a little bit more uh, of a granular texture, so a little bit grainier. And when I did take it out, you could see that the fat had separated from the rest of the milk. And I think that's normal. What happens when you freeze something is that the solids try to get out <laughs> of the water that's freezing. And uh, I'm going to take a, a sip now and tell you what I think of this frozen and thawed milk. It's pretty good. So I did kind of shake it and reconstitute it so that it wasn't as separated when I poured it out. And yeah, I think that this is definitely drinkable. And if you need to store a lot of milk from my research, what you should be doing is trying to freeze it as quickly as possible. The longer it takes for it to freeze, the worse the quality of the frozen milk will be. Now let's take a sip of the fresh one just to compare. That one goes down real smooth. So definitely fresher is better. So for myself going forward, I think that I still prefer to make cheese or yogurt with our excess milk, but I know that sometimes it's not possible to do all of that all the time. So I am planning to freeze some for next winter. And you know, I think it's great to think about ways to use this frozen milk. Maybe you can use it to make cheese later, or you can also use it to make hot chocolate or ice cream or other things that you might want to do with it. So you're not drinking it. I think that it's still totally drinkable, but if you're used to the super fresh daily stuff, you might still think that the frozen one is not as good. Um, but I don't think it should dissuade you from freezing it and trying to preserve it for the winter. I actually think it's very drinkable. I think it's just when you're doing a side by side comparison like that, it's really obvious that it's not as fresh, but I still think that the quality is pretty good. And I think it's definitely drinkable if you wanted to use it for hot chocolate or if you want to use it to make butter because it's already been separated. So there are so many benefits, I think, to being able to freeze it and prolong your season a little bit. And I did do a little bit more research on this and not just to rely on my own experiment. And there is research stating that if you freeze milk very quickly and keep it at about negative 20 Celsius, then it will preserve very, very well for up to six months. And what they found is that there is very little effect on the milk itself in terms of quality of the proteins and the solids and the fats. So that is super encouraging. So if you only have say one dairy ewe and you're trying to collect enough milk to make a big batch of cheese, you could totally freeze some. And then when you do have enough, you can thaw it out and make your cheese that way. You could also freeze it to make that yogurt that you wanna make later on in the year. So I feel like there are so so many great ways to use the frozen sheep's milk. In another study out of New Zealand, they found that if milk is frozen very slowly, let's say you put it in a giant bulk tank and then you try to freeze that much milk at once, that the proteins and the fats tend to be a little bit more damaged. So I think this is where having a homestead dairy sheep flock is a benefit because we don't have giant vats of milk that we need to freeze at once. We can freeze them in small jars or small containers or small Ziploc bags. And that means that they'll freeze very quickly and then they'll stay fresher and better longer. So this is one of those things where being on a small scale is better and is going to be easier for you to keep that milk that you can reuse in the winter or later in the year. 
Now I'd love to know if you actually freeze your sheep's milk, what have been your results? Do you drink it just like that? Do you make other things with it? Uh, what works for you when it comes to freezing sheep's milk and prolonging that bounty of the summer and the fresh grass that all of these sheep are eating? I wanna know and please leave a comment below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel because I have more great videos with lots of cute lambs and sheep in them coming for you very soon.